scruffy looking. Welcome to the first ever sick edition of Road to 40. I think this is the first one. I may have had a one had a one before this one. But I don't know. <clears throat> Congested. <sighs> my throat hurts. See, now my son Grayson is sick. He has a cough, horrible cough, just and he's been hot all day. Griffin, his younger brother, he's just been crazy congested in the nose. Like, every time he sneezes, it's just like, it covers everything around him. It's pretty nasty. And he freaks out. Now, I put um, toilet paper in the living room with us so that if this happened, he wouldn't have to freak out. Kind of like how I freak out when I get food on my face. I don't like it. So, <clears throat> he sneezes, and he's like, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> That's it. That's the reaction I get. I'm like, Griffin tissues <laughs> right there in front of you i feel bad for him i mean but when you're sick and your two kids are sick and it's just you have to still be a dad it's a little rough sometimes um i did discover something very interesting today that was probably one of the best new root beers i've found in a while frosty root beer that's right frosty it was at the uh fresh market uh right down the road from my work I usually don't shop there because it's really expensive, a lot of their stuff, but they have deals. Like today was Tuesdays, two ninety nine for ground chuck. I don't usually buy ground chuck, but their meat's pretty quality there, so it's a little bit better. Actually, it's visually, vi yeah, uh, visibly, vi <laughs> I'll get to it. Visibly, it's much better looking than ground chuck at, say, Kroger or Walmart. It still looks like it's all a lot of meat and very very little fat which is surprising because usually the ones that I see at Kroger and Walmart they're like pink and white like red and white like any variation in between mostly pink though the redder the meat I think the better I less fat I believe anywho um <clears throat> yeah so I feel pretty horrible right now I just took uh two pills I was sucking on a lozenge not a cough drop, a lozenge earlier. And that was making everything, I couldn't feel my mouth or throat. I don't like that. That feels yucky. That's like the 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 several times I've had to use like Ambisol or um, the other one. Um, I don't like the way, it, like especially if any gets towards the back of my mouth or throat. Oh my God. It's just like I feel so uncomfortable until it all goes away. Um, <clears throat> How you doing tonight, Dr. Carl Mitchin? Pretty good. How you doing, Mr. Oliveira? It may look like my lips are moving, but I'm just repeating really close to what he says. I want to tell you something. Uh, the title of tonight's episode, I've already decided, is a little inaccurate. <laughs> ten year. Could you tell me what you were doing ten years ago yesterday? Now, I know some of you can probably answer that with, I was watching Lost premiere. Which is true, which is true, which is part of the reason why I remember all the time. Uh, see, you got to tie, in my case, I have to tie events together. Three things have to happen on a day for me to remember that day, pretty much. Like, and it's not uncommon that it's like that. But my point being is that <clears throat> um, it's required, pretty much. I Like, I, if nothing spectacular happens or one cool thing happens, I don't remember the whole day. However, I do remember ten years ago yesterday what i was doing where i was everything <laughs> you want to know um it is tied to lost because i was at a laundromat with carol for the very first time here in lynchburg virginia now we moved here on see it if wait a minute that can't be right maybe we saw a rerun i don't know we saw i believe it was maybe i'm crazy Oh, maybe we just stopped? I can't remember the... Oh, now this is really messing with my head. Anywho, 10 years ago yesterday was the premiere of Lost. That day in history, um, which I don't believe was yesterday, I am almost 100% certain. I think they're lying to you. I think you're all being lied to. I was at a laundromat with Carol. We had just moved to Virginia. It was November. I know it. I know it was December, as a matter of fact. It must have been a rerun that we were watching. Anywho... <laughs> We um, we were at this laundromat right next to where I work now. Um, that has a laundromat that has a uh, gas station connected to it with a refreshments and or a convenience store. And so I remember sitting in there, and this other couple was in there. 
Uh, and I don't mean to judge people, but if you think white trash in your head, bingo, you got it. Like, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that was their look. That was the best way to describe them right now or ever. <clears throat> and they kept telling us about how they lived across the street at the trailer park. And how if we ever wanted to stop by because we were new in town and hang out. And, like, I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be by. And they kept wanting to know where we lived. And, I'm, and they gave us their address. And I'm like, I am not giving these people my address. They, maybe they were really nice. Actually, I can't say that that's common around here. People are usually generally nicer around here. However, that was weird. <laughs> no one since then has given me their address and said, hey, you and your wife should just come hang out. It was creepy. I'm hearing an audio coming from something. Something's playing somewhere. I guess I'll just shut it all down. I'm getting a call. Ohio. I'm going to ignore it. Don't know anybody. I know one person in Ohio. Um, yeah, so her and I, uh, we happened to go out yesterday, too, which we never do. We brought the kids with us, but we went out. We went to Target, and then we went to go see a movie. It was Sunday, I believe. Uh, no, yeah, Sunday. Today's Monday? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So two days ago? Wow, man. Time's just weird in my head right now. It's really weird, man. Um, and so we were out, and I, and I read something on my phone about that being the premiere of Lost on Monday 10 years ago or something like that. And I remember thinking, I can tell you exactly where we were. <laughs> and she's like, how, how can you possibly do that? Like, I was just like, you don't remember. And I gave her a really hard time about it too, which was kind of funny because she always gives me a hard time if, if I don't know something that I should know. <laughs> and I said, we were at the laundromat with those weird fucking people. I can say that because they were weird. Uh, and there was one other thing. What was it? It was the lawn. No, that was it. Yeah, 10 years ago today. Can you remember 10 years ago today? Or maybe, like, let's say next week sometime. Pick a date. And tell me if you can remember 10 day years ago on that day what you were doing. I can't. I, it's just, it had, like I said, there has to be multiple events to remind me of that day. Like, I'm sure birthdays and holidays are different story altogether however um i love doing this <laughs> i don't know why i feel powerful like i'm some bodybuilder when i <laughs> bend it in half which i'm not i mean i know it's hard to tell but i'm pretty uh pretty stacked <laughs> no i'm not not in the slightest i could be i just i'm really lazy Anywho, that's it in a nutshell for tonight. Um, I feel like absolute asshole. <laughs> I feel like a shitty asshole. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I apologize. But that's how I feel. The swallowing thing is coming back. Here's the loss and Jake. I spit it out after a while because it made me feel yucky. And I didn't want to throw it away, though, because I might want to use it again in case it... Because it did help my throat. It does. They're very expensive, though, compared to cough drops. One must be magical and the other one isn't. That's my story. That's what I'm sticking with. Anywho, if you love and watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please pass them along and come back. Share them. Subscribe. Like. One up. Comment. <laughs> Whatever you see fit. Hashtag. <laughs> uh, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. And let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. I'm Jason Oliveira. This is Dr. Carl Mitchin. This is The Road to 40, and we'll see you just a little bit further on down the road, guys. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for always coming by. You guys rock. Take care. Oh, and I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers. They must be, um, you know how it says, uh, you know how when somebody subscribes, if it's, oh, if it's private, then you don't know. It's just another number. So, right now, you guys are just numbers on YouTube, but you're number one with me. <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. You guys have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night.